and welcome back to From the Ground Up. I'm Bianca Miller-Cole and today we're going to be talking about building a website. Now it's so important when you're building a brand as I am that you think about where you're going to sell that product. And for me, I'm trying to build a brand that is quite hands off, i.e. I don't want to be managing the stock. I don't really want to be going to, uh, you know, pop up shops and stuff and selling initially. Uh, it may happen in the future, but certainly I want to position the brand so that I have a website that I can sell from. And so I need an e-commerce website. And there are a few key people that I think are really instrumental to helping you build a brand website in the right way. And those three people are, of course, the web designer, obviously very important and help you build the brand website, of course, the copywriting expert and the SEO consultant. Those are three key people that I think are really important in that journey of building a website that resonates with the right audience, but also is searchable. There is no point in building a fantastic and beautiful website if people can't find it if people type in the product or service you offer, but you don't appear on the search engine. It kind of defeats the object. And so it's important to think about those three key uh, experts that you can use along that journey. So as you know, I'm building my expert team with Fiverr. And so I have gone on the search to find the right people in each of those categories. So if we start with the web designer, so with web design, I spoke to a few different web designers and explained what I wanted to achieve. But of course, it's really important that you think about not just aesthetically how you want the website to look, which of course will help if you speak to them and look at their portfolio and judge whether you like their style and so on. But also functionality. What sort of website do you want? So do you want to make it on WordPress or do you want a Shopify site, for example? So choosing that thing first is going to help you to secure the right freelancer to join your team. I decided that I would go with a WordPress website and I knew what payment gateway I wanted to use. So again, I found a web designer that was able to do both of those things. Now, I spoke to various web designers. I eventually went with Mobians because I felt that they really understood what I wanted to achieve. And they were really helpful in asking me great questions as to the types of website I liked, what I wanted, but also feeding in their input. Um, so I said I wanted it to be more clean. So my previous website had been quite dark um, and that was the aesthetic I wanted at the time. But I said, oh, I want this website to be quite bright, um, you know, quite white in most of the website with, you know, a few strong images and features that makes it really easy to use, really accessible. So I worked with uh, Philippe and George from the Mobians team and they had helped me to build that website, but also to think about the other things that I want to tag onto that website offering. What do I mean by that? Well, I don't just want to sell the product. I also want to think about how my customers interact and how to retain my customers by making sure that they come back to the website more regularly or they don't need to come back at all because they've been subscribed to the product and they get it delivered to their home. And so I had to go through different levels of functionality that I wanted for the site. So for example, subscription. I want to ensure that once my customers fall in love with my product, and I guarantee they will because everyone so far who has tried it has, <laughs> once they fall in love with the product, I want it to be easy for them to subscribe, to get a discount and to get it delivered to them on a regular basis. So that would that subscription was quite important as a plugin to really help the website functionality. I also wanted to have um, an affiliate section. So if someone, one of my customers, or I like to call them raving fans, if they are raving about the product that much, I want them to be able to refer someone else to purchase a product and earn an income from doing so. Um, I am a big believer in utilizing your customer base to build more customers, but also rewarding your customers for their loyalty, but also for their marketing. And so that affiliate section again was really important to me. So I worked with Philippe and George. Uh, Philippe works on all the design stuff. So we worked together to go through various different versions of the site to get it right, to get that feeling right, to make it easy to use, make it accessible and so on. And then George, we've been working together on all the other bits, all the techie parts of, you know, logistics and, and subscriptions and things like that that we could probably go into later. So that was the web team. 
And so far, I'm really excited about what we have created. So here you'll be able to see a little bit of a website, a bit of a snapshot uh, of the website before it goes live. So you're very lucky to be able to see it at this stage. Uh, and of course, um, once it's launched, I will let you all know. Second to that, we have the copywriting. So copywriting is essentially having someone who is an expert uh, be able to write the copy for the website. So the copy is all the text that you see on a website. When you go onto a website, what does it say about the brand in terms of the about page? What does it say about each product? Uh, what is the vision and mission and so on? So I spoke to a few different people and I chose to work with Cherry. So Cherry Gamalink was the person that I wanted to work with because she really understood what I wanted to achieve. We had a great conversation. She understood what the brand did before and what it's doing now and what I plan to do in the future. And she asked me some really powerful questions that enabled her to write the vision and mission for the brand, incorporating what it was, what it is and what it will be. And um, it's really nice to have someone who really underst understands you, um, but also can give their input and ask great questions that will get you thinking and, and a bit more open. Now I, you know, did English A-level. I consider myself to be fairly good at the older uh, English writing, but I needed an expert who was able to really go on that journey and create really fantastic copy that I hope will be really engaging. And finally, SEO consultant. So for those of you who don't know what SEO stands for, I did say I will try throughout this series to not use too much technical jargon, so I apologize if I am, but SEO stands for search engine optimization. And so with SEO, you really want to make sure that your website is a shop window, but you need people to get to that shop, right? So, you know, they always say your website is a shop window and so on. And a lot of people think about a website uh, from the perspective of, I gave someone my card, they've got my website. Okay, that's great. But what if that person never met you? right? But they were looking for the product or service you offer. You want to make sure your website has the right keywords so that it ranks well on social, uh, on the um, search engine websites so that you are easy to be found. And so I went on a hunt to find my uh, chosen SEO expert and I decided to work with Best SEO on Fiverr. Um, and the team, Ravi and the team have been really great at understanding the keywords that I need to ensure that I am ranking well on the search engines. Now I'll say at this point, right, this is just a bit of kind of feedback that you might wanna think about, regardless of who you choose as your search engine optimization expert on Fiverr, you need to give them the initial keywords, right? You know your customer better than they do at that point. And so you wanna start with a few keywords that you think will uh, resonate with your customers that you think your customer would type in. And by giving them a few keywords, they can then you know, extrapolate that, they can find other keywords that are also relevant. But it's so important that you give them those keywords in the first place so that they can really do their work. If you don't give them the keywords, they don't have much to work on, right? And that is so important. And I say this because, and um, you know, with respect to my uh, SEO team, they're all men. And so I was giving them all this like skincare talk and they were like, okay, great. Um, but uh, skincare is massive. The beauty space is massive. So some of the research they came back with, I was like, okay, that one's not quite right. That one's not quite right. Think about this. What about that? This is what people type in. And they're like, okay, we get it. So when I was speaking to Ravi and the team, one of them said, okay, I get it now, Bianca, the serum. Yes, I was talking to my wife about that the other day because I'm getting some serum for my hair. And I was like, great, that's the sort of thing I want you to be able to find as a customer. I want them to type that in, some of the key ingredients, if they're looking for a key ingredient and find my brand. So that is what it's all about. So that is how you start thinking about your search engine optimization. Now, SEO is not overnight, okay? So bear that in mind when you're thinking about your budget, you may need to work with that SEO consultant for a series of months, six, 12 even, to make sure that you're starting to rank well for some of those keywords. If you already have a website like I do, some of that ranking may already be in motion, but of course you might wanna think about how do I ensure that I'm getting the very best out of my website? And that is before, of course, you think about AdWords and spending money on and advertising campaigns, you want to make sure your website does its job on its own. 
So the SEO is kind of the legacy project. The AdWords is like the instant real-time effect. So that's how you really want to think about it. So let me give you the checklist. So here are a few key things that you want to think about when you are building your team and building your business from the ground up. So the first one is the web designer. So I want you to think about the design. Go and find some websites you like the look of. It could be in a similar industry or it might be totally unrelated, but a website that you think aligns with your vision for the brand. Find a website that you like the look of and use that as examples to show to the web designer. Of course, they will have their input. They might have ideas around functionality and they might even give you ideas around how to best position the website to improve the SEO or to improve the, uh, the customer interaction. Listen to them. They know what they're doing in the most part, okay? And then make sure that your designer um, is able to design on the platform that you wish to use. And if you're not sure which platform to use, ask the question. Ask them for their input. Which one's better? And ask that same question to the SEO person because they might have a different perspective on which one they would prefer to use for SEO reasons. Now you want to think about the copywriter. So with the copywriter, try and find someone who understands your voice and share your vision with them and let them help you to articulate that vision. Let them help you build that vision, mission, that brand statement, that story about you as the founder, that story about each product and what it does. Let them do some of that work for you. And then finally, SEO. As I said to you before, make sure you agree on the key search terms. So you're very clear about what you are trying to target. There are so many words that you could target. So you want to think about what you want to shortlist as the priority words on a monthly basis to ensure that your website is being found for what you wish to be found for. And of course, you then might want to think about what blogs you need to use or what keywords you could use and where you can use it and how regularly you want to upload those blogs. And that may depend, of course, on your budget. Now, I really hope that you are enjoying this journey and I really hope you're taking part because it isn't just about watching me build my brand, although I welcome you all to do so. It's also about how you build yours. So make sure you head on over to the Fiverr website, link below, and have a look at how I'm building my expert team, but also start saving the people you want to help you with your business because a business with a team is a powerful business and you want to make sure your team is the right team to help you along your vision, your action, your reaction, and the evolution of the brand. I'll see you next week when we talk about the next step in building your business from the ground up.